Any miles on it? 6,136. Damn. Damn. <laughs> what? That ain't bad. You have a 2000 and what bike? 14. 2014 bike and you only got six grand on it? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I have 2013. Uh, yours is only one year older than mine. <laughs> yeah, but you've been a whole lot more places than me. Yeah. You know you like to leave me behind sometimes. That's okay, though. I'm behind you. How do I leave you behind? I'm not oh. speaking. Oh, that's good right there, son. You're talking about when I actually go riding with other people. Yeah. It's not my fault that you don't want to go riding with us. And it ain't my fault we got 10 million kids. <laughs> not my fault that the people I ride with act like hooligans. Yeah, fuck that shit. It's okay. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. Ooh, I found that sweet spot. <laughs> I try to find your sweet spot all the time. That lady's staring at you, baby. But oh, damn. <laughs> you trying to find my sweet spot? <laughs> <laughs> the lady and her daughter were staring at you. I think the lady mad at her husband. Oh, yeah, probably. She did look like that. Uh, it's Freedom Power Sport, and it's like right up here on the left. The Suzuki banner is right there. See it? See it? Look. Boom. You see it. So turn in right here. Where? Right here. Turn in right here. No, I don't see it. Fuck, should have went. Yeah, go, 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 go. Oh, my God. You, you got it. made me drop it. <laughs> Turn to the right. Where? Right there. Oh, in front of me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay, I see it now. Oh, shit. Big as hell, right? Huh? Big as hell, right, for you to see it. No, I just saw it. <laughs> I'm going to park right over here. Where? Right here. Uh, I don't know why you all the way back there. I just told you because I stalled. Oh, and it's on camera. Ooh, nope, I ain't going to be riding today, shout, shout. <laughs> <laughs> no, ma'am. Get on this V-Strum and take this ride. <laughs> this is going to be nice. And it's Suzuki Demo Days, and I'm riding the V-Strom 650. Ugh. Oh, yes. Now, you ready? Oh, it's not bad. It's not too bad with my feet. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Ugh. She does feel comfortable, and he did say something. My arms are fully extended out. So, KP, um, I'm not sure, man. I have to check it out. You got modes. You also, now, I actually have traction control on on this one, as you can see. Good to go? Yeah. Yeah. Good to go. Thank you, sir. So he's going to be behind us, and I forgot the guy's name. But the M109 is what I want to ride next. Yeah, um, I just think you should have came out with some real clothes on, brother. I'm not sure why you came on in with your pajamas. Let's see how this staggered formation thing goes. <clears throat> just a little lean. But it's comfortable ride, I can say that. I can definitely say that. Let's get this squared away. I think there's nothing wrong with her. It's just, ooh, I'm so damn short. You see this? <laughs> I'm just not tall enough, brother. But it doesn't matter once we get going. Oh, yeah. She's not bad. But like I said, it's just the actual height. 
the only deal is my legs are not that long. Let's get this better squared. There we go. But she is a smooth ride. Comfortable ride. And when I mean by comfortable, I mean comfortable like springs, like the suspension. But for me currently right now, my comfort level when it comes to am I used to the bike is not there for me. But the other portion I would say as well is the seat is okay. Not too keen on this particular seat. It doesn't feel like, um, well, I don't know how to say it. It doesn't feel like it's something made for you to do short trips. My, my buttocks are sitting right in this little crotch part of the seat. And it, it has a feel or grip <laughs> that is holding my ass cheeks. But the problem for me in the comfort level is, is this. I'm, when I'm sliding up right now and my pants are grabbing my sack and pulling them down and under. So I'm having to keep adjusting myself, which is weird. Sorry, sorry, sorry for all of that. So Raven didn't come out on the ride with us. Um, she's not comfortable getting out on the bikes. We almost got her out on, on two bikes, but we'll see because we got another ride after this that we're going to do. We're up here in Canton, Georgia at Freedom Power Sports. She has the power. Well, you can feel the torque. Let's put it that way. Yeah, I can feel the torque. Problem is, she's like really, really, really tall. Ugh. And I have to lean to the side. So your comfort zone when riding any new bike, period, it needs to be comfortable within your feel. And I could tell you, it would take me a while to get used to this based on the fact that it's a much higher seating than I'm used to. But other than that, that's no problem to get used to it after you ride. Other than that, that's all there is. Steering cornering i haven't had a chance to see that yet other than the turn the first right turn we did so we'll see after i do a right turn as a matter of fact i think i'm going to get on this side of you and i can tell too when i let off the throttle she has real serious engine braking on this one and that's not bad you know for me that's not bad i like that I like that engine control when it comes down to releasing the throttle, rolling off the throttle, and it bogs down a little bit. I like that for me. The thing is, is that it's comfortable in the wrist. It's comfortable with my arm positioning. It's comfortable, and I can see why you like riding these bikes, KP. I can see why, period. Is this one not... Is this one agile as yours is? Hey, yeah, it's light. Jumps right in. Not as much with the wind as it was with me when I was riding my bike up here. But we're not going 75, 80 miles an hour either. Plank, plank, plank. God damn. Big ass piece of wood. You know, this is the only deal for me. Ah. Can't put my feet down. Now, I can say this. KP, you do a lot of riding on your bikes, and a lot of your bikes have been either shaft. Well, I think they're all shaft-driven, no belt-driven bikes. So you have that power torque control right there instantly. This is still chain, and a lot of people don't realize that there is a difference between a chain, shaft, and belt driven bike the response in the throttle the response in the engine as well here I am at 53 fifth gear roll on and I don't really get too much from it that's not you know I'm not saying I gotta have the power that's not the point the adventure bike is for you to just go out and ride adventurous have a nice smooth ride Now, I can say that that was very nice going into that corner like that. Oh, God, I have to fix my 
and wrote them again. Yes, you're right. I, I don't know if anybody has experienced this other than persons who ride adventure bikes, but the way they sit is just so smooth and easy to jump right into a corner. I mean, you can't get too overconfident and think you can do something that you're not able to do, but I mean, honestly, this is very smooth with me leaning left or right. It's a very comfortable, comfortable turn and lean into these corners, no problem. two that I see on the dash here that I missed and I would love to have on mine. Guess what that is, ladies and gentlemen? A lovely fuel gauge. Seriously. I'm going to shut up and we're just going to ride the rest of this one. It's different, but it's nice. It's real nice. 